So usually I put the next car I'm going to review over here on my right. I hook it to attack by the hook on the packaging, but the next car I'm going to review is one that I got loose off of eBay. Um, so I did what I could. Anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Nigel Gearsley with Metallic Finish. Not to be confused with the original release of Silver Nigel Gearsley, who was also labeled as Nigel Gearsley with Metallic Finish. I'm not really sure why they did that, why they called the silver one with metallic finish when that's its own separate variant. It's really strange. Another strange thing about this car is just how huge the packaging is. Um, the bubble is much bigger than that of a usual die cast, and I really don't know why. It's like the size of a deluxe one, but you've just got a regular size Nigel in here. As you can see, though, this guy was part of the 2011-2012 Cars 2 line. More specifically, a little sub-series called Race Around the World, which I think was just what they called, like, some of the store exclusives. As you can see, this guy was a Toys R Us exclusive. And you can see exclusive vehicle and special deco written there next to the name tag. Now, moving on to the back, interestingly, we're not shown other cars from this metallic series. Compare that to the silver series where we were. Instead, we're just shown cars from the regular 2011-2012 mainline. Race Team Mater, Finn, Lightning with Racing Wheels, Francesco, Holly, Professor Z, Jeff Corvette, Carlo Veloso, Raul, Acer, and Graham. Just the first, um, well, the first nine, and then they skipped over 10 and 11 and just showed us 12 and 13. So now let's get this guy out of the package here. For... About two years now, I've been trying to get all the variants of Nigel Gearsley, and I really haven't uh, been making that much of an effort lately. Um, the last time I got a new Nigel, as I said on my blog, was Christmas of 2018. Um, so, I'm happy to be back at trying to get all the Nigels. Interestingly, check that out. This guy is rubber banded into the packaging. That is... Interesting. We're going to have to cut that. There we go. So here is Metallic Nigel out of the package. I also took off all those rubber bands. Something pretty funny uh, happened while I was doing that, though. The rubber band, uh, I moved it around the wheel to try to detach it, and it actually got stuck um, in the mouth plate there, which I just think is pretty funny. So as you can see, this guy is... Uh, what he said to be he is just a metallic Nigel Gearsley here. He's really not as metallic as the metallic cars nowadays. He's uh, It's definitely a bit more subtle although of course he still is a shinier green uh, Definitely depending on the angle at which you hold him, but definitely not as metallic as the cars are nowadays Nowadays the metallic cars are a lot more reflective Of course, he's got your traditional Nigel Gearsley expression there. We got the uh, Union Jack flag there on the hood. All of these nice details all over him. We've got the all-in-all -all logo on both sides of his headlights. We've got the grill and a nice grin there. Moving on to the side, we've got just more details. All of the World Grand Prix racers are just such great molds. They're really unique cars. We've got an E there as well as looks like another little logo, maybe a sponsor or some sort of flag. We've got uh, World Grand Prix number 9, once again with the flag behind him, all in all written there, or powered by all in all written there, World Grand Prix written there. As per usual with the metallic cars, just one color was made metallic, so just Nigel's regular green was made metallic, which means that all of these um, stripes and swooshes and everything really get to stand out against the metallic green. Also got this back here, which I think might be his gas cap, I'm definitely not as familiar with all of the details on non-American cars. Now, I'm not really uh, that good with American cars either, but um, I think that is supposed to be a gas cap. Moving on, of course, the spoiler just says World Grand Prix there. The spoiler is not metallic. Of course, the spoilers are never metallic because they're their own separate piece. Although his, um, his rear view mirrors are metallic, although they Definitely seem to be a bit of a different color from the rest of him. And moving on to the back, we've got Powered by All in All and World Grand Prix once again with the flag here and Union Jack there. There is a look at the other side. And there is the base. 
Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye now.